Sports Desk. It was a busy day around the area with student athletes from various sports putting pen to paper on National Signing Day. We'll begin in Unicoi County with Brett Strauder. Kept his commitment and signed with the ETSU football team. For his career, he rushed for 3,190 yards and found the end zone 30, 34 times. On defense, he had 188 tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, and two interceptions. He's the first Blue Devil D1 signee since 1988 when Trey Whitson went to Minnesota. Just felt like home to me and went and visited and uh, saw the facilities, met with the coaches, got to know them a little bit better. And it's basically like playing in your backyard, so it felt good to play hometown. And Greenville this morning, Logan Shipley signed his name on the dotted line to play for the ETSU Buccaneers. Shipley is 6'3", 240-pound tight end and defensive end, who was part of the Green Devil State Championships, says he wants to add to the Bucks' winning tradition. Had a really good year last year, um, and also it's not far from home. If I, if I need to be home, I can come home. I love their coaching staff, uh, a lot of young coaches, just easy to get along with. Along with those two, the ETSU Buccaneers announced a 28-man class, which includes 18 multi-sport athletes from 10 different states. This class features a lot of speed and size and will create competition at various positions. I thought our staff did a great job of going out and recruiting hard and, and competing. A lot of the kids we signed and who we were competing against, I mean, just this week we did lose a couple of commitments, but we lost one to Tulane. We lost one to Central Michigan. FBS programs instead of other FCS competitors, especially within the same league. In the model city this afternoon, the Dobbins Bennett Indians, Cade Salyers, with family and friends looking on, signed with the University of Richmond. The 6'3", 306-pound offense and defensive lineman was the district lineman of the year. Had a career 59 knockdowns and 69 blocks that led to touchdowns. Great family environment. Like They welcomed me there when I was there. Every time, all three times that I was there. Academics were very well respected there and like they're like the top 10 business school in the nation. So that's something I want to kind of go in towards. In Elizabethan this afternoon, Garrett Jennings, a Cyclone 6'7", 317 pound offensive lineman, kept his commitment and signed with Eastern Kentucky. Jennings chose EKU over Western Kentucky, Alabama, Birmingham, Austin P, and UT Martin. Community, the coaches, the players, they're all welcoming. It made me feel like it was, uh, I could make a home out of it. Hoping to play my first, my first year, you know, that's what I'm striving to do. I'm just going to keep my head up and keep working and see where it takes me. At Dobbins Minute this afternoon, Tanner Henry signed a national letter of intent to Walford for the high jump, who will also try something new, the decathlon. He's taken first place at 10 different meets in his career and finished third in state as a sophomore and fourth as a junior last year. Just the campus and how the team treated me when I was there. And the coaches were just so fun that I just really couldn't, you know, love being in that experience and everything. You know, they go up to ETSU some, and so they are very happy about that. And I love the city and everything. At Science Hill this afternoon, topper wrestler Chase Deal signed a national letter of intent with Southern Illinois out of the OVC. Deal says he's looking forward to joining the Cougars program. I'd love to be competitive. Um, you know, it's a very tough uh, conference we're in, and. Um, I'd hope to be one day uh, be a Division I All-American. You know, great guys, you know, great program. The coaches were all very kind and just a great program I'd love to be a part of. Four-star senior linebacker Henry Tioto of out of California announced Wednesday afternoon that he's signing with the Vols, picking Tennessee over Alabama and Washington before a national TV audience. Along with Tioto and five-star offensive lineman Darnell Wright, the Vols closed out a successful recruiting class. I think with this class, we've hit some, uh, some needs. Uh, so now we have some, some depth and there will be a little more competition, so that'll make everybody better.